In my mind, I'm a fighter. My heart's a lighter. My soul is the fluid. My flow sparks it's brighter. Now. I don't know what the fuck you think you're telling me this shit is all a fake. Say. Okay. Damn, how you do this shit to me, bro? You know you. Why you do this shit to me? You said it was simple. This ain't simple. Fuck. Fuck. It's your boy, Stevie Knight. About to get on one of these things. You feel me? What's good with the watch? Nice watch shit, man. Um, you know I love doing these fucking videos, bro. This shit says hip hop legends show love towards Eminem throughout the years. Part one. You know what I'm saying? I'm all I'm always down to give Eminem's roses. Y'all know that. Let's dive in. This is uh Rock Kim. Speaking on it, let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Excluding yourself. If you had to take yourself out the equation, is there someone who you may consider to be the greatest rapper of all time? Um, yeah, it's, it's a couple people. It's a couple people. Um, you know, I gotta, I gotta start in the beginning. Because without, without that, like, I wouldn't be, you know, who I am. And that's Melly Mel. Uh, cool the man, irony. Dude. Melly Mel, one of Eminem's biggest haters. The skills to be, like, you know what I mean? I think if the time would have presented it, you know, if they was around at the right time, it would have been a lot, a lot different. You know what I mean? As far as the impact. Um, unfortunately, everybody think that that's old school. Yeah. But, um, and then you got, you know, one of my favorite MCs is Eminem. Um, you see, the thing is, that's the first modern rapper that he listed off. The other rappers he listed was out of respect, right? The pioneers that helped to put him on. Eminem came after Rock Kim. That's the first one he fucking uh, named, bro. Tough. Isn't it crazy how Jay Z um, kidnapped Big Daddy came, but Eminem kidnapped you? Like well, you could right. see the lyricism and well, right. and the party side. But I mean, yeah. Jay. I mean, you know, Big Daddy can't have bars too. Yeah. Well, but right. he was more like the the, the ladies guy, yeah, yeah. like can't Biggie smoke. and Tupac. I, I feel like you guys was like the first. Like I mean, you're the first in anything. But the way I could compare it is like, you know, Big Daddy Kane was like the club guy and you right. were like the serious lyrical yeah. dude. Eminem like gravitates towards you more because he's just a rap, he's just a, a lyricist. The beast. That's you, my you man. Eminem is nasty. Okay. I don't care what color he is. I don't care none of that, man. You know what I mean? You know, real artists respect real artists, man. And, and especially like a conscious artist that sits down to write. Mm -hmm. And when he hears another artist that sits down and does his writing, and he know that's hard, bro. This shit, sp this, this shit you know should speak mean? volumes, Regardless, dog. You because you got Rock him out here giving Eminem as much roses as he is. Dog. I thought it was gonna be like multiple artists saluting him. This is just Rock him, dog. It's just Rock him, bro. Motherfuckers talk shit about Eminem. Just, just play this. Just play this. You can't knock fucking Rock him's expertise, bro. This is tough. This pen. Okay. You know what I mean? And I, yo, Em is nasty, man. I, I tell people to this day. If, if M was black, <laughs> he'd he, he'd be he'd be uh. If M was black, he'd be the next Muhammad Ali, man. Our first guest has been called the most influential MC of all time. Without him, you know, there would be no Biggie, Tupac, or Jay Z. He's got a new memoir. It's called Rock Him. Oh, this whole thing Sweat is Rock Him. Please tough. welcome to our show my new friend, Rock Him. Oh, Wendy Williams. What are your thoughts on hip hop today? I love Jay, I love Eminem, I love Nas. Right, Ross. and the thing about Eminem that we both agreed um, is that he's such a good storyteller, like yes. you. Yes. I Thank like you. to hear a story. Like, how long can you rap about stuff and things and diamonds and cars? Right, right. I like a nice story. All of which Eminem does not rap about. <laughs> you see what I mean? There's a lot more storytelling. All right, Big Daddy Kane is up next. But I thought, I'm gonna shut up, I'm gonna shut up, I'm gonna shut up, I'm gonna shut up, shut up. Um, did you recognize your influence on Eminem early on when he was blowing up? Honestly, I, I didn't recognize it until I spoke to Proof. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Rest in peace, Big Proof. Yeah, rest in peace, Proof, yeah. Like, I didn't, I didn't, because I, I, I think that, you know, um, Eminem has a unique style, but mm -hmm. I didn't really see how it resembled 
mind. Like if 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 anything, I would think flow wise, it kind of resembled more Buster. That's just my opinion, you know. Mm -hmm. Um, like flow wise, I mean, you know. Mm -hmm. But um, when we just did this interview just recently, and he was talking to me about my rhymes, then I was sitting there like, <laughs> okay, okay, I get it, now. <laughs> I get it. Yeah. But I mean. M is a beautiful brother, man, because, I mean, nothing goes over his head, man. Nothing goes over his head. Like, I mean, he's a student of the game that, that studies it like, 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 like a scientist that's pouring little drops of stuff in. Like, yeah, he studies it thoroughly, you know? I mean, and it was a good conversation we had, you know? I, I mean, yeah, he's real deep in the hip. Jay-Z has always said he's the Michael Jordan of hip hop. So if that's true, then that means you got to be Dr. J. But let me ask you this. Uh, <laughs> Thank you, brother. Let me ask you this. Who yeah. you think is, who? who is, if you're Dr. J, Hove is Jordan, who is hip hop's Kobe Bryant in your opinion? Um, hmm. um, I don't know, what, what's the generation after J? Um, uh, I don't know, would it be Eminem? <laughs> oh. Eminem? I like that one. Maybe M. But low like key, low key, they, they, the same, they're during the same time. You know what I mean? They're during the same time. So really he's saying Eminem is the Jordan dog, but all right, I'll take it. Real MCs holding on to the art. Yeah, that's hard. I love it. I wasn't expecting that answer. That's pretty good. Why? Because he's black. someone who's known for lyricism. <laughs> Not including yourself. Who do you think is your top three lyricists of all time? Um... Uh, I would say, um, you know, myself, mm. uh, you said three, three, I would say, um, myself, Rakim and, um, KRS, mm. but you know, I mean, to be honest with you, someone that says myself, Rakim, KRS, Nas, Cool G Rap, uh, Cool G Rap is nasty, Biggie. Jay Z, Eminem, Big Pun. I'm not mad at any of that because I mean I think the you have be someone you know like Eminem and just have made amazing cadence and like it's like almost like the syncopation mm -hmm. and like I sit back with this act, this exact, this back and this act, this Z and you know you almost become a this percussion, you know inside the music. So there's there's multiple ways to be like really good. The whole, thing, the whole thing about collaborations is so skewed. I think Nas did it when he was saying, you know, Eminem killed you on you. I think Nas made that thing. Oh, you're right. That I was where really I came think up. that was the point with. I mean, because we always thought it. We always thought who was better, Coogee rap, but we still enjoyed the record. Now it's like you don't even get the record out before the person is saying. Yeah, nah, I I try to enjoy. Who won? Yeah. Who won? Like the record is not even out before. You know, I, I when records coming coming out, they they say, I wonder, I wonder who got who. Yeah. Record hasn't even come out, so now people don't. Hip hop even is competitive, dog. It's always been that way. Which, listening for beef. Yeah, listen we just thought the same it, thing too. about we just did that about Eminem and Nicki. Yeah, see, no. like, because Nicki held but that, on. But she that's cool. That's that's fine because we do that as just like human nature. But as long as we enjoy the record. Like, were you offended? Were you offended by the concept when people say you got murdered by him on your own shit? Did that bother you? No, I think he's. You know, I think he's a very intelligent rapper. Let's go to the 2-7. The second best-selling hip-hop album of all time is the Marshall Mathers LP, Eminem, against a seventh seed, Country Grammar, Nelly. Oh, wow. Marshall Mathers LP smoked that. I to Eminem. Even though I love that Country Grammar album, you know, Eminem is just... Uh, Marshall Mathers LP was innovative, man. It changed so, hip-hop. You know, I'm going to have to give him the nod. So I'm, 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 I'm gonna end it on this one. LL versus Eminem. Well, you know what? M, M, first of all, M is like, it's like my man. That's the first That's thing. Cool. And then M, That's like, cool. That ain't got nothing to do with it, though. Who's in it? With the fans of Brighton. I'm, I'm reading there and I'm just, that's it. I mean, I just love M so much, man. I mean, you know. You don't want a fried fish? <laughs> I mean, nah, I wouldn't say that. I mean, I would be open to playing records with M. I probably would be open to that. Like, you know, to do some, but the thing is, I would never, 
like want to say anything. I would never say nothing derogatory about him. Em has been. I don't think. I don't think Em is. I don't think Em is the vibe. I just. I just threw it in the air just because. But he's been. But he's been been in my corner since he started. You know. What yeah, I'm saying? Like, he like rap beef or something. I thought like, they was doing like a, talking about a verses. He's really like my man. You know. Em was smoke. Like my little man. Like my man. Facts. Um. Nice. You know. Like my little man. Nice. Great. All right. But that was cool. That was cool. The Rock Kim Big Daddy Kane shit was hard though, bro. I, I love seeing that, man. Anyway, man, we out here, man. Grinding on the girl, growing the ground. The goddamn time. Night Nation, Night Watch. Love y'all. I'm out.